Bonjour, mon amis. Il est urgent. Have you ever had those moments in your life where you feel like time itself is just unending? Yeah, I think you pretty much have. And, you know, you can pretty much kill that argument. You're like, oh, well, it's all in your head. Yeah, but bear with me here. In most instances, the shortest amount of time is usually what seems most unending. Perfect example is five minutes. Uh, everybody's perception of five minutes is very different. And, and most people, they think of it as, as, as nothing. Yeah, five minutes. Yeah, I mean, I'll be back, man. Five minutes. I, mean, I got to take care of this in five minutes. Five minutes, five minutes. Yeah, but you... And, in most instances, because we think of five minutes as a little bit of nothing because we got what? We got five minutes, and then there's what? We got 10 minutes, and then we got 20 minutes, and then half an hour, then an hour, then a few hours. And then those hours build up to make a day, to a week, to a year, a decade, and so on and so forth, if you're lucky enough to live that long. But, you know, for some of us, five minutes can seem like a fucking eternity, especially if you are experiencing something going on at that time period that makes it so living peacefully and harmony and happily is down damn near fucking possible. Like, for instance, for me, I've been playing GTA 5 quite a bit, and the soundtrack is a mixed bag. It's a lot smaller than the, fourth, than the last game. But there's this song that even when it was new about six, seven years ago, this song by Amy Marie called One Thing, and you know what I'm talking about. It's just my thing. It's just, it's just, oh, God. Like, even now, that song is still annoying to this day. It's not a bad song, but, you know, it's not like Britney Spears' toxic standards of annoying. It, it, it really, it's just, it's one of those songs that never really sat well with me. It, it, it's like like a drink that you have that has a bad aftertaste or something that you're eating is afterwards or you don't you know even though you don't get sick there's something just doesn't fucking feel right you walk away from that dinner table feeling robbed and perplexed as to why this one thing that falls in the line of the category of so many other things at the same time why does this stand out above the most when at first glance and even afterwards there's nothing much difference than what we've already experienced Five minutes of that song. I, mean, I don't think it's five minutes, but it's long enough. Definitely long enough. But on the other hand, you got other songs that are classics. And it's like they're never long enough. Even though they could be like six, seven, eight minutes. Uh, hey, perfect example, Bohemian Rhapsody. It took me years to finally listen to that song. But when I finally did, I couldn't get over the song I had to just, I had to listen to it over and over again, and then I realized, you know what, this song is like seven minutes long, but it encompasses so much in what we consider to be a very short period of time. And as a result, I think this is also the reason why, well, not this song, but because we look at time as being something that's taken for granted, which is why it passes us so quick, and maybe it's a coincidence that as we get older, it seems like time passes even faster in our days. I think this is part of the reason why we it's taken for granted, because, I mean, it's going to happen. We're going to go to sleep, whether or not we believe. That we believe in that sort of thing to, to pray or anything is your choice but I mean we're God be willing we wake up and it's like all right well I got five minutes to get up and go to work or this appointment I got to make it to but when you don't have anything you don't really think about five minutes it just kind of passes by and, and unless you're looking at the clock and it seems like that's when time really likes to freeze up when you're when you either have too much time or when you're in the mental abyss that continues to stare back at you and will not let you go of its hold it really makes you think is our perception of time distorted or is it all just in our head all gens d'oeuvre